I also want to give a shout out to the dogs that are in the house too. Eva. Eva. Shout out to Eva. We need our we need our mascots, our dogs to keep us company. I, I definitely do. Um, I want to take this time now to welcome the lovely Miss Tanya Walker. Oh no. To okay. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You know, it's very important that we honor and cherish and center the lives of trans people uh, in our community, in the LGBTQ community, especially Marsha P. Johnson. I mean, Marsha P. Johnson was instrumental in helping us get our gay rights, our trans rights, our non-binary rights, uh, everything. Uh, Marsha, I met Marsha in 1986. Um, she was sitting down on Hudson and Christopher, I think it is, on a corner panhandling money, and I was like, why is this person panhandling money on the corner? What are they doing with this money? And Marsha was panhandling money for uh, homeless youth who were sex workers. Marsha loved our youth, and she felt like they, you know, they'd been thrown out by their families, she'd been thrown out by her family, and she really cared about them. She really cared about them when nobody else did. Um, a friend of mine named Melanie um, Wackley, she lives in Staten Island, she told me a story about Marsha, how Marsha told her how to hide in the, in the truck tire, tires in the meat district over, in the meat uh, district over here, when they had all the gay clubs there back in the days. Some of you were too young to remember. Um, they, would, they had a lot of gay clubs down there, leather bars, all kinds of bars down there. And uh, uh, she would tell my girlfriend, who was 14 at the time, and she was a child sex worker uh, in the village, how to hide in the tires of the trucks so she wouldn't be arrested. Um, so Marsha P. Johnson, to me, let me see. Uh, Marsha, she was intelligent. She was a humanitarian. She was a fundraiser, a giver, a gay rights activist, LGBTQ activist. She was a leader, a visionary, an actress, a mother. Um, she, uh, she cared about everyone. Um, she, she always didn't pay no mind. You always hear Marsha P. Johnson pay no mind. If Mar Marsha was under attack, she would defend herself. She didn't always pay it no mind. So I want you to know that about Marsha. Marsha was one of the greatest people I ever met in my life. And um, it's so tragic that she's not here with us today um, to celebrate. When I first came down to Christmas Street after I left the military, I was in the Army. I'm a combat engineer, it's Army veteran. And so I couldn't come to the village because I was in the Army, sworn in when I was 17 in North Carolina. But I'm from New, New Jersey. But my parents moved us down there, so I lived in North Carolina for like five years. And I came from New Jersey from, at the age of 12. So I got to Christmas Street after I got out of the Army. Uh, I got out in 1984. However, I didn't get to New York until 1986. And that's when I saw Marsha standing on the corner. I mean, there was people all over the streets, gay people, queer people, child sex workers. Every, you know, everybody the whole world hated was out on the streets. And Marsha was out there panhandling. I didn't know if she was talking to herself or whatever, but she wasn't. Marsha wasn't crazy. Marsha wasn't suicidal. I believe somebody killed her. Marsha was not suicidal. Marsha had too much sense. She was too intelligent, too smart. And so, you know, regardless of what people say, she never committed suicide. But I remember in the piers, you know, they were raggedy back in the days. And they had a big holes in them. A whole, your whole body could fall into the Hudson River. And uh, I don't know what happened that night, but I, you know, but um, you know, whatever happened to Marsha was terrible. But anyway, um, we uh, live and we love and we cherish Marsha. We wouldn't have our gay rights today. Marsha was at the Stone Wall that night. You know, contrary to what people say, she was there. She told me she got arrested. 
They chained her to a guy in the back of a van. She um, escaped the van, broke out of the handcuffs and escaped the van, and she was at Stonewall that night. So we need to honor, cherish Marsha, and uh, we need that funding to, to make that statue. Also, Marsha needs to be in that park. Yes. Yes. Her statue needs to be If Marsha didn't fight back, Marsha fought back. So I want you to do this chant. When LGBT, LGBTQ people are under attack, what do we do? Act up, fight back, move up. You can say move up, fight back, stand up, fight back, whatever you want to say. When LGBTQ people are under attack, what do we do? When LGBTQ people are under attack, what do we do? Fight back! Fight back! Fight back. Fight back. Continue to fight back, continue in the struggle. We have a lot of haters out there. We have some well-financed hate groups out there that are uh, giving out a lot of misinformation on us. And definitely stand up for trans youth. We have to protect our trans youth. Our trans youth need us. And we have to, we have to fight back against those forces that are trying to destroy our community. Thank you.